Hi everyone. So this video is about streaming video from the X, from the Fuji X-E3. And really you can do this with, that I know of, with the X100F and also with the X-T2. I'm pretty sure you could probably do it with the X-Pro2. I'm not sure about the X-T1, uh, but I don't know, the X-T2 does it. So what's happening here is that the, the Fuji X-E3 is pumping out video through HDMI and going through a piece of hardware uh, that is a USB capture device. This one is called the Magwell USB Capture Plus Magwell device. And that device is connected to the Mac via USB, uh, in this case, USB 3.1. And I have the Mix Pre 3 that is connected through USB-C to the Mac. And I have a nice boom mic, so the audio sounds great. So I don't have to use the Mac's built-in audio. All of this was pretty straightforward in putting it together. I was having issues uh, at the beginning of the year because I was using another um, USB capture hardware that was this guy right here, the US the Ultra Studio Mini Recorder by Blackmagic. This piece of hardware didn't work very well for me. And I don't know if it was because it was the Fuji cameras or I wasn't really paying attention to some of the settings. The thing was, it didn't even work with my 5D Mark III, which was surprising because that camera is pretty standard. And so a few years back, I went to, uh, the, I've went i been to this place called uh, Media West, and the Magwell people uh, were there. And last, um, this couple of months ago, the Media West was on, uh, and Magwell was there again, and they have this, these little devices, and they showed me how to use it very easy and quickly, and it works. Well, there it is. <laughs> it's working. Now, there is another piece, though, to this. Now, I might be looking over here, and you can see that there's a green square, because I'm half-pressing the shutter button on the Fuji X-E3, to get a green square, so that tells me that I'm dead focus, hopefully. And it also allows the camera to tell it, hey, don't go to sleep yet. Um, there's a piece of software that the Mac, that I need to run on the Mac so that it can record whatever video is being streamed out of the camera. And this piece of um, hard, um, software is called OBS, it's free. It's open source, and it seems to be pretty stable. Now, I've used, um, what's that, Cast something. You probably know it better than, uh, uh, it's over here somewhere, Wirecast, there it is. Um, I've used Wirecast, the free version, and it, it's too limited. It, it gives you a few things for free, but, you know, you want more. You want to be able to connect more than one device. It does. It lets you connect your desktop camera and another device. But be it that it's, it's a commercial piece of software, they're always trying to squeeze you for everything. And there, nothing's wrong with that. It's just that the piece of software is kind of expensive. This piece of software that I'm using, the OBS, is pretty free. Is it error-free? I don't know. I've, I've only used it a few times, but the, the times that I've used it, it seems to work very well. It's telling me that I have four and a half minutes now recording. That's crazy. And CPU-wise, it's at 35%, and you can hear it in the background, or maybe not, with this boom mic. A couple of things about the camera. It's in, uh, as you can see right there, right there, it's in Velvia, uh, Vivid. It's also at, 
I believe plus one color, plus two sharpening. And I did that on purpose on the sharpening because I was noticing before that my eyes weren't that clear or sharp. I was using face recognition for, for a little while, but that was making too much noise, especially with this lens. This is the 16 millimeter F 1.4. And, you know, making all that noise and ruckus is, is distracting. Uh, it's at, right now it's at F 1.4. ISO is an auto, you can see that. Um, most likely it's, uh, you know, as low as it can go. It would be interesting to know what it, what that would be. Uh, and it's uh, AFS, single mode. So I half press the shutter and it will focus within that square. I have to film at almost 30 frames per second and that's because the Magwell system seems, or the OBS, I can't remember, I think it might be the OBS. Uh, one of these two is telling me that I have to be at 30 frames per second. Um, I'm probably going to have to figure out what to do there. But this is just a test uh, to see how these things work. Now the Fuji XE3 right now is running on batteries and you can see it already has two bars down. It was, it almost had all the bars, but I've been, you know, kind of practicing and fooling around for the last hour or so. So I've been turning this on and off, testing this, and the Mix Pre 3 um, had all, you know, it has um, kind of like a, uh, an indicator for the battery and it doesn't, it's not segmented. So right now it's about a quarter of the way. Using the mix, the uh, using the batteries for the Mix Pre 3 is, um, it drains the batteries very quickly. And I have to do that because my Air doesn't have a USB-C. But it has the Mix, uh, the Mix Pre 3 does have a cable where it has two USBs. Okay, that's a lot of information. Hopefully that, uh, gives you enough information and inspires you maybe with your X100F or X-T2, I don't know about the X-T1, to maybe do something like this. Yes, the X cameras are not meant for streaming, I get that, but the more uses you can, uh, the, the, the better you can utilize your X camera, the more it's going to be it's going to be justified, right? Especially um, if you have a business, you know, you can do streaming with it. You can take pictures. You can do movies. Um, that's the power of these wonderful mirrorless cameras. And I'm pretty sure um, the, you know, the, the Alpha 6000 series and, and the 5000 series, the Sony ones can do it. I bet you the Alpha 7 series can do it as well. I know my Fuji, no, my Canon um, 5D Mark III could do it, sort of. And it's just a wonderful piece of hardware that we can utilize it in different ways. All right, so I'll be seeing you on, hopefully, on live streaming one of these days. And uh, hopefully I can get a faster Mac so that I can do that. All right, I'll be seeing you later. Bye-bye.